on in, we have the verdict for the Apple River stabbings. I was at my spine appointment this morning and I started watering my garden. So I'm not quite sure if the verdict came in when I was at the doctor's appointment or if it came in when I came home and I was in my garden. It seems like... I don't know. When did, when did the verdict come out? But I hope you guys are having a good day. Hello, hello, good morning. And I hope you guys are having a happy Thursday. Oh my God, it's almost Friday. Time goes by so fast. Let me just get my stuff in order. Hi, Raven. Good morning. Hi, Rhiannon. How are you doing today? I hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, Actually, I am kind of curious when the verdict came in. Stabbings. Oh, if you guys don't know it yet, let me close this part. Hey, Christine! Hello! I, I, I already saw a, a thumbnail, so I know what the verdict is, but I don't know the details. I'll just, I'll just say that. But when did it come in? Was it five minutes ago? Just finished reading it like five minutes ago? Oh, okay, so I was like in my garden then. Ah, five minutes too late. Hi, Joseph. Good morning. Hello. How's it going? How are you doing today? I do want to look at my poll, though. I did a poll on my YouTube's community channel to see if anything changed. Um, because before I did the poll, let's see where we're at with the communities tab. All right. This is for my community. Hello. So six days ago, I did the poll. 15% say self-defense, 35% said guilty, 15% not sure, and then 35% was like, what the fuck is Nicola Mew? I don't know who that is. So that was six days ago. Um, yesterday, I did do a new poll. Oh, wow, there's like a lot of votes on here. Holy shit, it's like 1K votes for both of them. Um, I did a new poll yesterday, and that was after closing arguments, and it was 30% not guilty, 21% not sure, 12%, uh, sorry, 30% not guilty, 30% guilty, 21% not guilty. I haven't had my breakfast yet, so excuse me. 12% uh, not sure, and then 36%, who the hell is Nicolay Mew? Not following the case, so it's okay. Um, I always am curious if there are people that watch the case or if they're just like, who are you? Why are you in my poll? Hi, Tiny Ghost, how are you doing today? Hi, Joseph, good morning, good morning, hello, hello. So we did miss it, but we're just gonna act like it's happening live right now, and let's just watch it. Let's watch, um, so it seems like they were in deliberations for, I think yesterday they were in deliberations for about three hours, and then today, maybe five hours total of deliberation, five or six. Rihanna says, not guilty, my opinion. Looking good any time of the day. Hello, Mace. You too, Mace. Good morning, guys. Hello. So I, I guess they, would, they delivered for about like five hours. Now, a lot of people were thinking, you know, maybe the composition of the jury will be in the defendant's favor because a lot of them seem to skew pretty, like I think old, uh, older like 40s and up and then uh even a juror up until uh even a juror as old as 90 which i think to me is like super fascinating if i was 90 i just hope i i hope i'm not decrepit when i'm 90 please 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 let me be like the juror who's 90 years old serving on their duty service right now <laughs> tiny ghost says guilty oh is it six hours okay i said five hours but we'll go with six hours because i'm just guesstimating good morning ken weister hello hi grandpa gorgi how are you doing today all right so yeah i i I did wake up early today. I promise you, I woke up at like 6.30 a.m. today, but I had to go to a spine appointment and then I was out of my garden watering and I was like, eh, why not? The verdict probably won't come in. Like, maybe I'll be okay. But no, I guess the verdict came in when I was watering all my plants. <laughs> um, you think the lying in the interview sunk him, d Flash? Yeah, I was thinking maybe it would have been better if he didn't testify. Um, Maybe it would have been better because like maybe the, like the jury could just see like, OK, well, maybe he lied because he was like in shock or maybe he lied because, you know, he was uh, kind of just confused or something. You know, maybe he was still like amped up. Well, I don't know. Um, but I think him going on the stand and then doubling down on some of the stuff, um, I would say didn't look good. Um, I know sometimes when people are going up there and they're testifying, they want to look like the perfect witness. But here's the thing. I don't think you have to look like a perfect witness. And same thing with the teenagers, right? When one of the teenagers testified, they went up there and they're like, oh, we weren't taunting him. It's like you were taunting him. Like you could see in the video, the jury can see it with their own eyes. So um, I'm assuming the jury, they probably just watched the video and then they just came up with their conclusion, maybe based off of that. Um, because I think on both sides, there was a lot of lies that were told, right? Either during, uh, either 
after uh, the stabbings happened or either on the stand. So I think both sides, you know, there was a lot of lies going around. I Joseph, uh, his line consistently didn't do him any good. Yeah, him lying in the interview was so bad. Then lying in the interview. Do you think? Do you think if he called nine one one, called nine one one, and then wait until the authorities got there and then told him like, hey, like this happened. I was defending myself. I was scared fucking shitless. Do you think maybe that could have helped him a lot, or do you think that maybe he'll still be found guilty? Hi, go lucky. How are you doing today? How's it going? Because I, I saw, I read articles about, like, the lies, but then when I actually saw the body cam footages, I was like, oh, that looks pretty bad, actually. <laughs> that looks pretty bad. All right, y'all, so let's listen to the verdict. Uh, where are we at? I'll try to do my best to get the audios, because depending if the judge is speaking or if it's the lawyers, for some reason when the lawyers speak, their microphone is, like, straight up like this. It's, like, not in their mouth, but the judge has, like, a better... His microphone's like way louder. So I'll try to adjust the sound accordingly. But I will say if you're, you know, maybe at home, maybe don't put headphones in. But if you are at work or anything like that and you have to put headphones in, um, I'll do my best to take care of your ears, okay? I'll do my best. Uh, Rihanna says, it looked like to me the kid started shit. He was defending himself. Both sides could behave better. But it's clear uh, those kids started. All right, I'm going to hop onto here. Oh, God. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Hello, James Jameson. Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? All right, y'all. Let's get started. Hi, KJ. How are you doing today? Hi, Frank. Good morning. Hello, Stevie. How's it going? You know, today I saw a little Pomeranian. I was like, should I give Shiro? Should I get Shiro a little Pomeranian? It's like, I want another Corgi, but Corgis are a lot of work. What if I just get like a little tiny, cute little Pomeranian or something like that? I don't know. I was at my doctor's office. The old guy was provoked for sure, but he did a Rambo for move. <laughs> Rambo. Oh, my God. Don't mention Rambo when my sister's around here. <laughs> My sister, we used to taunt her with the Rambo movie box when she was a kid. And I don't know why, but she was deathly afraid of Rambo. <laughs> um, but you said he did a Rambo 4 move on a kid, which goes beyond self-defense. Please adopt, Corgi son. We had a little cute Corgi pop up at the animal shelter. Um, but I knew it was too good to be true. I, I knew that dog had an owner because the dog looked so fucking perfect. It was this cute Corgi. Um, it was a girl. And she looked like she was really well taken care of. But we were like, okay, just in case, if no one claims her, I don't know, we might go. We might go there and pick her up. Uh, she was so adorable. But yeah, she's gone. I, I'm, I'm assuming the owner came and uh, they picked her up. So <laughs> um, get a Havanese. I don't know what Havanese are. Are they like the Shih Tzu looking dogs with all the picture with like all the hair? You're picturing an aggressive little ball of fur. Yo, they're so cute. Oh my gosh, little fish. They're so cute. But anyways, I don't know. I was thinking there's there's for some reason there's a lot of chickens in the animal shelter. Maybe I need to learn more about like chickens or something like that. But I'm like, I kind of want to just have like a bunch of chickens running around with Shiro. That'd be kind of cool, too. But if I do have if I do ever go out of town or out of like the country, um, we have someone that comes in and takes care of Shiro. And I'm like, OK, well, can you take care of my dog and like 10 chickens? <laughs> like I don't know. I would feel bad. So I don't know. I wish I, I had someone here that was like always I don't know. Maybe if my mom retires, maybe would, maybe she'll live with me. But I don't think she will. She said she wants to do her own thing. I don't know. Fuck her, too. <laughs> Hi, Taxi. Good morning. How are you doing today? Or a good night for you. Hi, Momo. Hello. Hello. Momo, I'm going to be in Austin this weekend. I'm going to be in Austin. I'm going to be closer to you. Not close, but closer to you. Hi, Chris. How are you doing today? All right, y'all. So it seems like the jury, they deliberated for about five to six hours. And honestly, for me, I would have been like, hmm, five to six hours. Actually, I'm not quite sure if it was guilty or not guilty. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know which way I would sway if I knew they deliberated for five, six hours. But let's listen. and I'll do my best to adjust the audio. Hi, Carolyn. How are you doing today? Run, Momo, run. I would like some beef noodle soup. I'm coming over. All right, please be seated. <clears throat> All right, we are back in session on the record in state of Wisconsin versus Nikolai Mew. Uh, the attorneys are present with Mr. Mew. 12 jurors are in the courtroom. Mr. Ashland, I understand you are the foreperson. Correct. Did your jury reach a verdict? Yeah. 
Did you reach a verdict on each of the six counts? Yes, we did. Can you please hand the verdict forms to the bailiff. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. Oh, Rhiannon, I have a story for you about a rooster in our neighborhood. So nervous. Oh, this is so nervous. Oh, I, I hate verdict day. Mm. OJ Simpson died? Are you trolling me? Verdict what read as follows. As to count one of the information, Isaac Schumann, the jury finds Nikolai Mew guilty of first degree reckless homicide as submitted. Oh, okay. This is what I was saying. I was saying that if he is found guilty for Isaac Schumann's death, I don't know if I agree. Actually, I don't agree with the first degree intentional. I like was not very confident on that. I was like, maybe reckless homicide. Okay. Question. But to be clear, guys, um, first degree intentional homicide um, and then first degree reckless homicide. So first degree intentional is like life, <laughs> maybe parole, maybe not parole. Um, first degree reckless homicide, I believe it's still facing 40 years. So it's still a lot, even though it's like a lesser charge. Um, it's still you're still facing possibly 40 years. But I don't know if there's like state rules on like caps on like certain things, blah, blah, blah. blah. But if I remember correctly, it's still 40 years. Did Mr. Mew commit the crime while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. As to count two of the information, Alexander Martin, the jury finds Nikolai Mew guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as submitted. So that's AJ, the one with the yellow shorts. Did Mr. Mew commit the crime while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. As to count three of the information, Dante Carlson, the jury finds Nikolai Mew guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety. Dante was apparently the last person to be stabbed, and I, have, I still have no idea when that happened. I'm still a little bit confused on that. Hey, good morning, Richie. How are you doing today? Hi, Big Vaughn. Also, I do want to say this. I know that there was a lot of, I mean, we're good so far right now. I know there was a lot of debate in my chat about guilty, not guilty, and all that stuff, which is fine. Now, just don't rub it into the other person's face, okay? Just, just don't do that. Don't rub it in other people's face. <laughs> I know sometimes y'all like it when you're right and stuff, but just don't rub it in into other people's face. As submitted. Did Mr. Mew commit the crime while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. As to count four of the information, Anthony Carlson, the jury finds Nikolai Mew guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as submitted. Did Mr. Mew commit the crime while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. As to count five of the information, Riley Madison, the jury finds Nikolai Mew guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as submitted. Did Mr. Mew commit the crime while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. As to count six of the information, Madison Cohen, the jury finds Nikolai Mew guilty of battery as charged. Did Mr. Mew commit the crime while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. I guess uh, for recklessly endangering safety, um, do you guys remember what's the max sentence for those? Oh, I don't remember. Uh, at that point, I start, I start kind of like zoning out a little bit. Hi, Ada Bell. Members of the jury, uh, I do have to verify that this is, in fact, a unanimous verdict. Uh, so I'm going to ask each of you if I correctly read the verdict uh, and if you agree with it. Uh, so when I call your name, uh, if you agree with the verdict that I read, please answer by saying yes. Hmm? He's going to say their names? If you disagree numbers? with the verdict, you can answer by saying no. Uh, Ms. Navarro, uh, do you agree with the verdict that I read? Yes. Uh, Mr. Cook, do you agree with the verdict that I read? No, I would be like, please don't read my last name. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yes. Uh, Mr. Snell, do you agree with the verdict that I read? Yes. Ms. Pelzel, do you agree with the verdict that I read? Uh, Mr. Wiley, do you agree with the verdict that I read? Yes. Uh, Ms. Knapp, do you agree with the verdict that I read? Yes. Mr. Diedrich, do you agree with the verdict that I read? Yes. Ms. McMahon, do you agree with the verdict that I read? Yes. Mr. Henderlong, do you agree with the verdict that I read? Yes. Mr. Ashland, do you agree with the verdict that I read? Yes. 
Ms. McMullen, do you agree with the verdict that I read? Yes. Ms. Lewandowski, do you agree with the verdict that I read? Yes. Any? Kimo says, Corgi, if he had lied and Trevor tried to cover his tracks, would the case turn out differently? We were actually talking about that right before we watched this verdict. Uh, I was asking people, do you think the outcome would have been different had he stayed on the scene, called 911, uh, wait for the authorities to arrive, and be like, hey, I was fucking shit scared. Um, I was trying to defend myself. These kids were, like, ganging up on me, right? Like, let's say he, like, stuck with, like, the truth all the oh, way through. Oh. Ah! <laughs> what run jack thank you so much for gifting five subs on twitch thank you thank you i appreciate that hello how are you doing today um hi raven i know each shit is different but how does uh defend correctly i hope you get where i'm coming from <laughs> we went through the wisconsin uh, laws ready so for the jury they have to consider whether or not he thought he was in imminent danger but there's also like qualifiers for that too because sometimes um because if you are the provoker, you can't claim self-defense, but then there's like, you could claim it in certain, um, like if you're like, you could claim it, say for example, like one example that I remember was, if say you provoked it, you got into a fight, but then you announce out loud that you are leaving and you're stopping, you're not gonna do anything anymore, and then they still attack you, then that could still be considered self-defense. So the jury had to consider whether or not he thought it was an imminent danger, um, I guess like provocation probably matters, whether they thought he provoked it or the teens, uh, whether it was like, you know, the physical touch, who started that first. And then the other thing was shit. What was the other thing again? Hi, funky pants. How are you doing today? I forgot what the other thing was. Maybe it'll come back to me later. Um, but what I was answering, okay. So as for how he acted afterwards, I think it's possible, like absolutely possible for someone to still be um not guilty even though they lied afterwards even though their actions afterwards shows that like they were trying to get away blah blah blah. i think for me i think that's more important for sentencing um i think the judge is going to look at that for sentencing and determine hey you know let's see what i'm going to give you um and then also additionally um i think that him lying and like leaving the scene and stuff like that the it's possible that the jury also looked at that as like maybe like admission of guilt but I don't know if I really care about the admission of guilt part and him lying afterwards. It was more like everything that just happened before that. It looks bad, sure. And I think that would just go into sentencing, maybe. We'll see what the judge says when he does the sentencing. Additional polling? No? All right. It is a unanimous verdict. Members of the jury, your service in this case is completed. Uh, you are free to read accounts about this trial. Uh, you are free to talk about this case with anyone. However... Uh, you do not have to discuss this case with anybody or answer any questions about this case other than from the court. So this includes the parties, the lawyers, the media, or anybody else. If you do decide to discuss this case with anyone, please treat any such discussion with a degree of solemnity, such that whatever you would say, you'd be willing to say in front of your fellow jurors or here in open court. It is in the public interest that there be the utmost freedom of debate in the jury room and that jurors be permitted to express their views without fear of incurring the anger of any litigants or the public. For that reason, please respect the privacy of the views of your- Oh man, like, I don't know. I, I like, this is such an unfortunate um, case. Like, it really should have just have gone, like, none of this should have gone down. It was like so stupid on like, on, on every side. I could see him like shaking right now and like that like gets to me, I feel, ugh. Your fellow jurors. Cause like, imagine like you're like in your fifties, um, however long he's going to be sentenced for it's going to be i don't know i just feel like being in being in fucking prison it's just gonna be really really uncomfortable especially when you're old if you do decide to speak please only speak for yourselves Jesus. and not for anybody else on behalf of my colleagues judges needham vlack and nordstrand along with my courtroom staff thank you for your participation in this important case court is now adjourned please take the jury out all rise right, for the jury Are we going to talk about sentencing now? When are we going to do sentencing stuff? Oh, thanks, Runcheck. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, Funky Pants is for reckless uh, murder, by the way. Uh, the reckless endangerment minimum sentence is 22 years, but it can be different among states, but the maximum is 60 years. Okay. Yeah. I wonder what it is in Wisconsin. Please be seated. 
Based on the unanimous verdict, I will enter uh, convictions on each of the six counts. Uh, bail is revoked. Uh, Mr. Mew will be held in custody pending sentencing. Um, my staff will contact uh, the attorneys and will schedule the sentencing date. I will order a pre-sentence investigation report, um, but we can uh, do the scheduling at a later time. Is there anything else, Mr. Anderson? Huh? Uh, Mr. Shroffacy? Yes. All right. Thank you, everyone. Court is adjourned. Oh, okay, so they're just going to do the uh, scheduling date later. I mean, I think he's been um, he's been in in jail for the past two years, right? I think he had like a two million dollar bond. Is that correct? You like the judge on this one? The judge, I think, was uh, he was a little bit scary in my opinion. <laughs> that's that's a judge that you do not mess around with. Okay, I mean, you should be messing around with judges in general, but. Um, I, I think that judge was kind of scary. <laughs> I thought he was scary. He looks so much older than he is. Yeah, I think he looks about his age, 54, maybe. <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, well, that's it. I guess we'll keep an eye out on sentencing uh, to see when that's going to happen. Also, sentencing for who else is awaiting sentencing? Oh, Hannah Reed. We're still waiting for her sentencing. I know that they're going to appeal. Um, her case. I mean, I'm assuming they're going to try to appeal all this decision as well. But Hannah Reed, I know we were waiting for her sentencing. Um, how do we feel about the Chad Daybell trial? We watched the opening statements for Chad Daybell yesterday, and I don't know. I just, I, I can't with the audio. I can't with the audio and the video. <laughs> I think I might watch it on my own time. And then if there's anything that's interesting that pops up, maybe I'll watch it with you guys, um, like different segments or something. I don't know. I, I don't know if I can. I know for sure I can't sit here for eight hours watching that crummy audio and crummy video. Huh? They started to GoFundMe for Hannah? Um, what, for, for her to appeal her case? I heard about a Go... Well, not a GoFundMe. I heard of a, a crowd uh, crowdfunding for... Uh, we were talking about... Oh, you guys are filling me in on um, the Delphi murders. Do you think they'll go after the kids too who participated in hitting the man Corgi? No, I don't think so. I, I think the win for the state was going after him. Um, I don't think if they wanted to go after the kids, they probably would have threatened them with charges maybe already. Yeah, I, I don't think so. I was thinking maybe let's say, for example, if they found Mew not guilty, if Mew still has some money left, I don't know, maybe Mew would go after maybe the kids, maybe uh, or the, the young adults, possibly in a civil lawsuit. I don't know. But then I could also see it the other way around where um, there will probably be civil lawsuits on both sides. Like, let's say, for example, if he was found not guilty, because I could see the family also suing as well. But I think you could still follow a civil lawsuit, even if they're found criminally uh, guilty. Oh, really? To fund her appeal? The audio? Is it better today? Is it? Is it better today? Hi, Janice. How are you doing today? Janice says Mew hunted down Dante. Dante was nowhere near him. Mew walked towards Dante on the side of the river and stabbed him. Was that uh, was that off camera or was that when the cameraman had already backed up and then like I could sort of see some things, but I couldn't really tell for sure. Yeah, for Hannah Kitiris Reed, uh, we're still waiting for her sentencing. Um, oh, also waiting for the sentencing of Rebecca Grossman too. Um, I did a story about Rebecca Grossman. That one was a super, super sad case. That was a pretty hard case for me to edit. But waiting for her sentencing as well. Um, she was found guilty of... What was the specific charges again? Oh my God, I forgot. I need to eat breakfast. This is what happens when I don't eat. My mind just goes bloop, blank. Uh, but essentially, um, she was allegedly racing her alleged boyfriend. <laughs> I'm saying alleged, alleged, because uh, the racing part was still kind of like debated in the court. And then the boyfriend thing pretty sure that's her boyfriend but i know that was like debated as well um and she was under influence um and yeah she she hit and ran two children they were ages um like eight and eleven so super sad uh we're waiting for her sentencing also it's supposed to happen um like yesterday but i know that got delayed um 
I don't know. I don't know anything about the divorce. I did hear that Nicolay and his wife uh, did divorce. Um, I remember Taxi saying it was probably to protect their assets, maybe. I'm not quite sure. I didn't look into that, so I don't know. Hello, Alex. Oh, I'm late. What did I miss? Uh, we did verdict. It was pretty quick. Very quick verdict. The jury deliberated for about five to six hours, and they found him guilty of first degree reckless homicide, which is the lesser charge. So it's a good thing, I guess, the state included that. And then also they found him um guilty of i forgot what the other one was called something reckless uh first degree reckless um endangerment or something like that i don't remember okay so crappy audio and video brought to you by the trillion dollar <laughs> morning course there's nothing to see or hear here <laughs> now did you see my comment on the tithing thing it was a stupid comment but i still thought it was funny um so you guys were filling me in about like um, heaven, hell, purgatory and all that stuff because I'm not a religious person, so I don't know anything about that. But there was this image that someone posted in my Discord. And when I first looked at it, it looks like the way they mapped it out, it looked like you're on your way to, I don't know, the highest level of heaven. I don't know what they call it. But it falls off right before tithing. So it looked like, okay, you're like on your way to heaven. But if you don't give the tithing, you go straight to like the, I don't know, the fifth level of hell or something. <laughs> which i thought was hilarious oh hi lady how are you doing today yes we did get the verdict um guilty 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 but i hope you're doing well who knows what will happen in wisconsin funky pants says the maximum sentence for first degree reckless homicide is up to 60 years um yep what well, is it 60 years i read it was 40 years for first degree um reckless homicide However, a more mitigated version of the fence could be punished well to 40 years. Oh, okay. Maybe that's the part that I read. I remember hearing 40 years. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens um, with the judge. Hi, Beretta. Hi, Bear. How are you doing today? Yeah, that's about it. I mean, it's, good. it's a short stream. Not really much to talk about. Um, that's about it. We'll wait until the sentencing comes out. And I don't know, guys. Uh, feel free to join the Discord if you like. Um, let me know if there's anything going on in the Daybill case. I'll probably just have it running in the background and I'll just listen to it or maybe do like recaps or something. I don't know. We'll see. But I appreciate you guys being here. I'm going to be gone this weekend. I'm going to go to Tejas. Let me know if you guys have any recommendations. I'll be in Austin. Um, and yeah, and that's about it. That's about it. That's the end of the um, Wisconsin River Stabbings case. Um, I'm sure they're, you know, I'm sure he's going to, him and his team are going to try to appeal. And then I'll let you guys know when sentencing happens. But next week, what should we do next week? I don't know. I know some of you guys wanted me to cover the Diddy case. Um, I did have the, I did have like the docs for that. But I was like, man, I don't know how I'm going to read this in a way that YouTube is not going to, I don't know. I, I feel like, I feel like, <laughs> I don't know. The, reading the docs are pretty hard. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty brutal. Can we please click the thumbs up before leaving, please? Oh, yes, thank you. Bye, y'all. Have a great week. Don't fake your own kidnapping. Bye, Braid. I hope you guys have a good one. I appreciate you guys being here. And um, I'll probably stream on Twitch and just do some video games uh, later. But I need to go eat some breakfast, guys. My mind is like... And you can tell, like, yeah, I just I just rolled out of bed and I went to the doctor's office. <laughs> but I hope you guys have a good one. Take care. And, um, yeah, be good to yourselves and be good to others. Have a good one. Bye.